Hey, are you tired of printing out documents, signing them by hand, and scanning them back in just so you could sign a PDF? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple and time-saving solution using Preview on your Mac. Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're like me, you probably have countless of PDF documents that need to be signed in return. But let's be real, who has the time and patience for printing and signing and scanning? It just takes a lot of steps. Luckily, there are a few different ways to create signatures in Preview that easily let you sign your documents electronically. So let's get started. Okay, so there are three different ways in which you can sign a PDF using Preview. One is using a trackpad. Two is using just a good old pen and paper. And you can see I wrote this nice and big so it stands out. And then the other one is using an iPhone or an iPad for that matter. So let's start with the trackpad. So you want to first start with the markup tool. Then you want to come over to signatures here, set this icon and do create signature. Then what pops up is trackpad by default. So I'm going to go ahead and do click here to begin. And all I got to do is start scribbling on my iPad. So I'm going to scribble a little bit so you could see. But now if I actually push harder on my trackpad, you can see it actually does it a little bit darker. So find what works for you. And I am just going to sign. And there we have. And now when you're done, you can see below it just says press any key to finish. And you just simply hit that key. And now you have successfully saved that signature. So if I click on it, there it is, including my scribbles. I'm going to go ahead and delete that from here. Now, if you need to delete the signature once you're done, just hover over it and just simply hit that X and you're good to go. Okay. The next way to do it is using good old pen and paper. And it's okay if you have to just do it one time because preview will actually save that inside of your signatures. As you can see, I have a bunch saved here. So you can see I signed documents on the 1st of November, 2023, and I still have those dates in there. I actually use it for dates. Um, so same process, you go to the markup tool, you come over here to signatures, you do create signature, and you use camera. Now the difference with this one is, there is this blue line that's going across. So you wanna line this up with that blue line. And once it detects it, it will freeze and it will hold it true. And when it freezes ultimately is when you can then hit done and it's gonna detect that signature. So this is the signature I created with it. I can't do them both at the same time with the video recording and capturing the signature. But you can see here where I did that signature using that piece of paper. And there we go. So it'll freeze and then it's there for you to use. And the last one is your iPhone. So if we click on create signature, you can see my iPhone's not showing up. However, I got a trusty, trusty handy little lightning cable because I'm still not in the iPhone 15 area yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and unlock it. And I'm gonna leave this and then I am going to come back to create signature and now you can see up at the top, I have the option for iPhone. So I'm gonna click on iPhone. And now my iPhone turned into just this blank white slate. And they, it has a nice little light gray line here for you to follow for signing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And once you sign it, it kind of mirrors what I've got there. I just kind of scribbled it so it's kind of sloppy. But you can see that there. And if I hit done on my phone, it now saves it into preview. And again, I just simply have to click it and there it is, I can use it. Now to use these signatures, all you gotta do is click on them in that list and then they show up. Now they might be not be in the right size, so you can drag them around and resize them. I'm gonna use a different signature because that's just ugly. All right, so you can move them around and choose them at a different size if you'd like. And once you save the document, it's on there. And you'll notice I use it for all kinds of things. I use it for dates and I also use it for signing my name. Um, I've also used it in situations where it tells you to print your name. So if I come down, there you go. There's how I print my name. So you're able to add this and you can be creative with it and put signatures, printed names, dates, all those things inside there because it's really easy when you're done using them to just simply open it 
and hit that X and get rid of it. Like I'm gonna get rid of these from 2023 and that's it. And the beauty is, is if you have multiple Macs and you're using iCloud Drive, these signatures will sync across all your devices. So there are three ways there for you to add a signature into preview that you can use over and over and over and over again to sign documents on PDFs on your Mac. So hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get up to date on any other new videos that we put out. And we really appreciate you watching and we hope it helped. Have a great day, everybody.